Welcome, man. Welcome back to the channel. How is everybody doing today, man? What's the day? What's the day? Thursday. It has to be Thursday because today happens to be Tech Talk Thursday, okay? Normally, well, traditionally, it's TTT, which means that can go for either Tuesday or Thursday. Tech Talk Tuesday or Tech Talk Thursday. So today is Thursday, though, so it's that version of the TTT. Well, which means one more day, guys. One more day to get through the week. Now, that all depends on if uh, you guys are off on the weekend. Uh, I no longer have that luxury, okay? Man, I ain't had a weekend off, a full-blown weekend, I mean, where you get Saturday and Sundays. I had a weekend off, and I don't know how long. Uh, and, and most of that is by choice. Uh, <laughs> for some reason, if I feel like I, make, I can make some money on a particular weekend day, uh, I'm all for it. And for some reason, I'm just greedy like that. I think I should go for it, which is what I tend to do uh, a lot. OK, so well, anyway, guys, um, I've been having a lot of guys. Um, but ever since so I asked somebody, uh, my man, uh, my man, uh, Tim at Astro Records, I asked him, Tim, you know, you know, Tim's pretty huge channel, right? He got a extremely huge following. OK, um, I asked him what uh, because this just happened to me. I just hit 10,000 subscribers and I asked him what happens when you hit 10,000 subscribers. He was <laughs> he was like nonchalant about it as if nothing. Well, like, the thing about it is Tim ain't been at 10,000 in so long. He's sitting on 60 something now. So he likely don't remember what happened at 10,000 to my experience um, at 10,000. Uh, YouTube tend to help you out uh, or they tend to put your videos in the front of more viewers. Okay. Which means you're going to get more plays, more this, more that. And number one, mainly you're going to get more questions. Okay. Extremely amount of more questions. And that's simply because your videos, your previous videos are in the eyes of more people. So the more people see it, the more people tend to think, Here's a guy I can ask a question, and they ask a lot of questions. So with that new YouTube app on my phone, just question after question after question after question. Uh, usually, I used to can get to every last one of them right when it happened, you know, because I didn't have that many at the time. So, uh, but but now, but now since, and I can only blame this on the uh, the improvement of the channel, which I want to thank you guys for, first of all. Thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for sharing it. If you share it, thanks for subscribing, all that good stuff. So the channel is starting to grow, 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 grow. And I appreciate that. Um, so, but yeah, like I say, Tim don't remember because he, it was probably a year ago when he was at 10 because he's sitting on 60 now. So good for, good for you, Tim. Good look, man. You deserve it, man. You do extremely amount of good work out there and you really you staying busy and you you consistent <laughs> that's the thing about it uh being consistent so you're gonna always be busy but uh kudos to you buddy um uh, so yeah uh with that being said or with that happening uh the videos are in front of a lot more people which means i'm getting a whole lot of more questions okay so i have no problem with that uh in fact i enjoy it it's just I have to be in a set down setting sometime to answer some of them because, you know, <laughs> you can't be reckless when you typing back an answer. I mean, your grammar has to be right. Your spelling has to be right. Even though you're a mechanic, there's still a level of professionalism people uh, expect from you. So, yes, I tend to uh, sit down and think my answer out and try to give the best possible answer. And, uh, like I say, I have no problem with that, but it's overwhelmingly now, and I'm I'm happy. Okay, the channel is growing. Uh, now, do I want it to get to the point where I'm overwhelmed by questions to where I can't get to them all? That's just that simply signifies that uh, you have grew and you you know your channel is growing. But hey, uh, appreciate all the love. So. What I, but what I was saying in the beginning, uh, I had a lot of, and, and in fact, if you look at the name or the title of the video, a lot of cats want to know how I edit videos or 
mainly they they I heard one guy, he's he's extremely scared to ask me stuff that he think I'ma think that he being nosy. And quite frankly, some of the questions are a little nosy, but I don't mind. Like, as in he'll ask stuff like, damn man, you like one a day or one every three days is too much for me. As if you know, he don't have a t- uh, the time to sit down to make a video, record the video for one. Um uh, sit down and edit the video that's another day and the third day is used for uploading so to him like that is a lot of work and i done got to the point where i can do at least two or three a day and i three a day is about to come okay i just got to make sure i'm not in that window where youtube won't uh send notification out on on each one that i put out because it's worthless if nobody's being notified that a particular video is out it's worthless putting it out OK, because it's going to get tucked down in the bottom. Uh, I learned that from a man. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, Scotty Kilmore. I did. <laughs> Scotty was slang him out uh, every seven hours, I, I want to say, or six or seven hours. He got it figured out or his agent or whoever he used got it figured out to where we space them out between every seven hours. Notification will go out on each one and the max plays will be the ending results. So with with that being said, or now knowing that I can simply, you know, you don't want to get oversaturated, but I, dude, it, now that this COVID-19 is dying off, the revenue stream is getting back the way it used to be. It was uh, lovely. OK. And at, at, a, at one point, uh, yes, it was great. So I want to get back to that point. And uh, and this stuff is easy to do. So back to my buddy. Yeah. He want to know how to. Uh, Oh, what what editing software I use to make me go so fast? Uh, and to me, I don't think you should focus on the software or the whatever you're using to edit the videos. As so much, you should focus on grabbing good content, whatever you're using to record it on. Now, my videos ain't super HD, crisp, 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 but the content is, uh, you know, overriding for the lack of super quality. I mean, I don't have a super HD. 1080p no 4k 8k i don't have none of that stuff but um i I assume it's about the content and what you're saying and what you're talking about that really matters so i will put a lot of focus into that but as far as editing the videos man i use sony vegas uh pro it's a pro version it don't have to be pro what you use sometimes i use my phone um depends on how difficult the video is going to be okay so that's that's a, i'll show you a clip on it before i leave because i'm not gonna be on this stream long i have a some uh i have to finish this in fact the video that i'm editing now i need i want to finish it by tonight so i can upload it by saturday what what is what it's going to be about is a uh, bank one the cylinder head on bank one uh cam phasers cam chef yeah i know i already did bank two that was the front cylinder head and uh that video did well a lot of people i don't know if they sent back waiting on bank one or what but i've been getting a lot of where's bank one well i thought you said i thought you said one guy i think he withholding on doing his until he see the video even though you know there's there's content out there i i, I assume the way i explain it uh sets me apart i would like to think that and you know so i'm going to get that video finished tonight or early tomorrow and get it uploaded uh bank one that's the real cylinder head on the minivan or the right side on a car or a truck or a Durango, anything like that. Uh, we're talking about replacing cam sensor, cam shaft phasers, cam sensors, time and chain, things like that. And I will use the special tool to demonstrate that purpose. All right. So before I'm going to pull up Sony Vegas and show y'all the clip, uh, he, he said he's going to be on watching. I, I'm not going to be long, like I say. Oh, what's up? Uh, who's that? Tom, Tom, what's going on, Tom? What is going on? Mike Cole, what's going on? Tom, Tom, any tips on PT Cruise convertible top? What kind of tips, man? Uh, the convertible top, um, <laughs> when they don't work, you, you you have a leak in the rear, that's for sure. Uh, but the thing about that, Tom, the thing about those cars, it, it's hard to find. I had one, the line busted. You know, that, that fluid travels through the lines, and, of course, it goes through some uh, – uh plungers him not plungers uh struts uh liquid struts i might be pronouncing this wrong but anyway that's what's used to push the 
convertible top up and electricity a motor was used to pull it back down but anyway i had a line broke i can't find the lines anywhere so we basically had to turn the car away man I mean, ain't nothing we can do chrysler don't sell them anymore and we we don't we're not a big fan of aftermarket parts not aftermarket but used so we basically let had, had to let her go so tom if you have one of those <laughs> if if uh everything's working uh try to maintain it where everything will stay working if you see a bulge in a particular line um because that thing take a special fluid hydraulic fluid to push those that top up so man if everything working on that car that convertible take care to make sure it works because there's no more parts i don't know what people getting their parts from now they might be using a third party source or some some place out of california but you can no longer get parts you can't even i went the price out of pt cruiser uh uh pcm the computer that's it that's a wrap ain't no more so again we're not big fans of used parts so that <laughs> wasn't nothing we can do for the car pretty soon we're gonna have to turn them away or not so much turn them away don't even write them up and at one point that was my bread and butter so you know i'm I mean, it's going to put a dent in my little revenue stream. They always coming to me anyway. Okay. That's my Friday job. What you, what are you doing to it? Is the top not working? Um, what's up, Mopar fanboy? Hey, dad, what's going on? Uh, Tom, is that your top not working or, or what's going on? Because, um, you know, I had a couple where the switches out, the little switch at the top where you push and the motor will go down, but I haven't seen or done too many, um, top issues, had too many top issues. So, I don't know, uh, but take care of that thing, man, because ain't no more parts available. So, guys, what we're going to do, or what I'm going to do, I'm going to show this. Uh, I can't tell if my buddy's online or not, but uh, because this is running live on Facebook and YouTube. So if, they, if they're not, they can see it later. But I'm going to pull up my, I'm going to pull up, like I said, I got a video I'm editing right freaking now. Let's pull this up. This is, a, this is the one I was talking about, guys. Where I'm doing the uh, the camshaft phase. That's a phase. Let me hit play right here. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Y'all might can't hear that, but I'm demonstrating. Um, now this particular scene not moving. Oh, Tom, not moving at all. Can you hear the hydraulics? Uh, you know, like a regulator. If you hit the switch, you can hear the regulator trying to move. Can you even hear the hydraulics moving? As far as that uh, convertible top, yeah, type that in the bottom. But okay, guys, uh, back to this video. I'm in the middle of editing this. Here's a special tool right here that I'm using to uh, to demonstrate how guys can get uh, cam phasers or timing chain. It is you can hear it, then yeah, you got a leak then, Tom. If you, I don't. Damn, what is that yes for? I forgot what I asked you. I think I asked you, can you hear the hydraulics moving? If you can, yeah, you you might see red fluid all over the back of that thing, all over the rear. So just manually let it down and remove that panel. It's a huge panel in the back that you will have to uh, just simply remove and gain access to that pump. And if you see fluid all over, yeah, you know, it's done sprung a leak. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah, this video, this is one I'm in the middle of editing. Uh, I demonstrate where the timing mark should be. Uh, this is the special tool right here. Uh, now, I demonstrated how, like I say, I got to edit this. Now, when I edit or when I make videos, guys, I usually, sometimes, I have two cameras rolling. Okay, just say, for instance, this likely my phone because I can tell by the way it's moving. Uh, I can tell by the way it's moving. Um now what am i doing here okay when i'm filming like i have two let's go to this scene right here okay this is the cutaway engine that uh i had to get rid of so i decided to film uh the timing procedure but let me show y'all something see obviously i got a camera rolling looking at the engine now that's me like I'm using my phone also to get closer view. So I have two cameras rolling. So from time to time, like if I need a better angle, angle, if I need a better view of the top, I just whip out my cell phone. 
All right. Now, even uh, just say if that's too far, because what you see in this box here is what you're going to see on the video. Let's say if that's too far back. Here's what I will do. I can uh, crop and pan this stuff uh, with my cropper. So just say I want to uh, make this make this my cell phone closer. I just merely just zoom in, crop in. So that again, this part you see right here is what you're gonna see. Uh, it's what you're gonna see. Film now, you you likely won't see that because I won't have two recording device in the same screen, so you won't likely see this. What you will likely see is what the footage that's on my phone. Now, just say for instance, I got I got it zoomed in now with my cropper. Okay. And here's my cropper. Just say if I want, let me move this down to a particular spot. Just say if I want, I don't know, for a television reason, I want the ASC patch to show. I just have to move the cropper, o cropper over to whatever parts I want. Just say if I have a bad hair day going, I don't want y'all to see none of my hair. I might move the crop, cropper down to where you only see you know, in this area right here, this is all you're going to see. <laughs> so, and I really want you the passion one because that signifies professionalism. All right. And I like that. But yeah, I'm in the middle of editing this video. I got a lot of footage. Like I say, uh, yeah, this is the, the two, me demonstrating the two. Let me hit play and see what that's all about. Yeah, I already got that phaser off. But guys, I wouldn't put a lot into the software you use to edit it because without the main part to me is capturing good footage and see obviously i got my phone or i have my camera stationary okay that's simply because you can see both my hands if my hands are not holding the phone i actually have let me show y'all something this is actually what i have this is actually what i use all right y'all see this this is a uh, this is a cell phone, not my original cell phone, but it's on a small little tripod. So I can cock that down somewhere and uh, do what I need to do. But you can't do that. In the other times, you would likely see one hand doing work, but I can't. I needed both hands to create this scene. So that's what you see. And I will demonstrate the proper way to use this tool. Again, we're doing bank one. <laughs> you likely won't see that part because uh, that, that tool is aluminum. It, it can easily break by slamming on it like that the the part i don't want you to see you likely will not see all right so let's keep that in mind but um i gotta get that part edited it's some more what is this up here okay that's me removing so i'm gonna incorporate all of this into that um uh, into this video again what i'm gonna be doing is the oh that's the one i had the bad lift on or bad rock on yeah i forgot about that so wow that joker really came apart so what I'm going to do, this video is going to be uh, about bank one. Remember, guys, I already did bank two. A lot of cats waiting on bank one. So, wow, that joker there was all jacked up. So I figured since I'm doing that, I might well break out the camera and the special tools. It's all about the special tools. I refuse to show you all how to do it without the special uh, tools because I don't want you to get burnt or get in trouble. But uh, see, now here's the one I want to show you. If you Depends on how you're using your phone. This is obviously a phone scene. You can tell by it because it's cropped upwards. If you get that or something like that, this particular software, I can simply take that and uh, recrop it to where it would be uh, the long way. See, I just had to turn that around. But from time to time, guys, when you want to hit that record button real quick on your phone, you might be, uh, damn, what they call it when it's the long ways? Uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, so but if that happens, I just have to uh, recrop it in post or using the software. So now you can't never tell I even messed up because I just turned it sideways. I can hit play just like I it was recorded uh, the regular way. But yeah, this particular job I was doing that rock on that broken rock on. So I'm gonna have all that in the footage. In fact, the first video I did, I was replacing or I had all the. Valve train tore apart. Yeah, I'm putting new rock arms in this car. 
so I decided to film and this part of the footage I'm gonna use okay so it's just gonna be split split scenes back and forth I'm gonna show you from the cutaway view angle and I'm gonna show you uh the on the car angle okay so yeah well I had to do it like that but I had to find some time to uh to get it done but yeah that's that's how uh, I don't know why he wanted me to see this but he wanted me to he wanted me to show him how I go about how I edit the video so I don't know what you're gonna learn from this I think what he wanted to know is uh what what software I was using and that's just Sony Vegas it's no big deal it's no nothing secretive it's just I don't know some people get intrigued by stuff like that. They, really, I mean, he asked me like three times, like, dude, what software you use to edit videos? So I decided to show him on this particular video. But yeah, man, that's um, that's that's how I edit car videos or repairs. Is that what you want to call it? I don't know. So yeah, what's going on, Caper Man? How is you doing, man? Phil Holbrook, what's going on? You said join you. What do you mean, Phil? You got any more can communication bus? Um. Uh, communication issue videos and edit what 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 you got what you working with uh uh phil what you mean can i know what can communication mean but what kind of problem you got what kind of problem you working on you you got a a bus circuit open or something or a bus fault code i want to say or you know you obviously got a communication problem so uh just let me know what you're dealing with and uh if there's a fault code because those communication codes <laughs> it's almost impossible to diagnose them properly without uh without the fault code so uh have a fault code in on, on standby when you uh you know reply back but have you checked your chrysler reward points no uh how do you do that what why would i do that what not why would i do that but uh you talking about the go tool award i guess you're talking about uh my chrysler reward points yeah i haven't checked that tom now you're making me want to go check it. <laughs> now, now you got me thinking or wondering what I'm missing. So, you know, can't have that. Man. I got to figure out what I'm missing. Anything good, uh, I need to know about. What's going on, uh, good footage and personality? That's what's up, man. Phil, why are you replacing phasers? Noise stuck in advanced position. Phil, and most of the time or 90% of the time, the reason I replace a phaser is because, of, you're right, noise. But a phaser can fail in a number of ways um timing you can throw your timing off you'll have codes like p0340 uh that cam sensor code a lot of people replace the cam sensor thinking that will fix that code but in reality the phaser has caused the timing to retard or advance and it throws that code but they end up replacing the cam sensor for nothing absolutely nothing that is not the problem uh it's likely the phaser but 90 i say 85 to 90 percent of the time is because of noise the other 10 to 15 is likely uh timing issues you ever seen one throw a uh 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 airbag not an airbag uh damn abs traction control light yeah they they can fail in a number of ways man so um uh, it's not always about noise or valve train noise for that matter it's not always about uh any net in other words there's no one particular reason why you would replace a cam phaser but that's on that that video you just saw that's not the sole. that's not what i was doing i was replacing the uh the rocker arms now you're supposed to remove the cam shaft and the phasers in order to do the rock arm do you have to absolutely not you do not have to uh but <laughs> depending on your skill level you can sneak around and get to it in fact I have a buddy, uh, Shaw Shaw Family Videos. He did one of the rocker arms that's closest to the timing, to the phasers. You got cylinder one, three, and five on the rear. He did a rocker arm on cylinder one, I want to say. Now, you know how close that is to the phaser? How was he able to finagle that broken rocker arm out of there without damaging anything? I don't know, but he pulled it off. In fact, when somebody asked me how to do that, I have no video showing that. I basically have to... Uh, send them over to sean uh sean sean family videos or shaw family real cool dude man uh in fact y'all get over there go um uh, uh hit him up and uh you know check his channel and subscribe to his channel all that good stuff but 
He's the only one I know of that ever done rocker arms that close to the <laughs> to the to the. I just ain't that bold. I, and plus, it's so easy for me to disassemble it. So I think that's that's more the better reason why I don't do it. It's so easy for me to take that oil control valve off, which is the bolt. It doubles as the bolt and the oil control valve. So easy for me to take that off and remove the phaser and lift the cam up and then do the rock arms as opposed to bending and, and, and maneuvering and all that good stuff. I, I much rather do it that way um, and I can get it done quicker. But yeah, it's, it's a number of reasons you can uh, replace that guy. So that's what's up. Hey, what's up? Uh, is that Teresa? Teresa? Oh, she on Facebook. What's going on, girl? You got any car questions? What you got? What you driving, Teresa? What you working with? What you working with? That's my good friend out of Arkansas, y'all. She, uh, it's obviously it's a she. I said she, uh, Teresa Moulton rings. What's going on, girl? Um, uh, this guy garage. I use Filmora, but it looks a lot like your Sony software. Hey, th yeah, Sony, yeah, this is Sony Vegas. I never heard of Filmora, dude. That's not the part people should be concerned with the software being used to edit it. Like I say, I think they should be more concerned with, uh, not even, I mean, cameras matter, but cameras are so advanced these days. Any Anybody on a smartphone right now likely have a 1080p camera features built in their phone. Some have 4K features. So cameras are not even the biggest issue right now. The biggest issue in my mind, this is my opinion, as far as filming automotive videos is uh, getting good takes. Because you know how many how much maneuvering you have to do to get that good take or that one good boat you want your audience to see. All of that is what's more important than your camera and the freaking software you use to edit it. I mean, that is important, but not, not, none as much important as what are you using or how are you getting the footage or if you're getting good footage, okay? So, yeah, that is the big question, but Phil Mora, I never heard of Phil Mora. Uh, it works if it works it works that's what's up uh caper uh phil holbrook i don't have an issue there more interesting than wrenching i don't have an issue there more interesting than wrenching oh i can't make that out but uh okay i can't really make that what you're saying brian finn hey y'all what's going on brian great channel recent subscriber man you know what dude I appreciate you subbing, man. I appreciate it. This channel is growing now, man. So, like I say, now I'm getting help from YouTube, and I it is very much appreciated. Uh, Phil Holbrook, do you use a scope to check timing? Check timing? Dude, everything is uh, controlled by the computer now. In fact, I just got rid of my timing light. I ain't used that thing in a decade. <laughs> it's just taking up space in my toolbox. Uh, do you use a scope to check timing? Oh, a scope to check timing. Okay, you might be talking about like, like a lab scope inside the uh, uh, now we did when we was using a hard scan tool, a hardware scan tool, my DRB. We had lab scope functions on the back of it, but we don't even know where that's at, man. Um, I mean, lab scopes are now portable enough to where guys are buying their own, it's no longer required, it's it's no longer uh, an essential tool, okay? So, yeah. I, a matter of fact, I haven't had to test anything using a lab scope in a minute. So, uh, <laughs> dude, we tend to get bailed out nowadays by uh, fault codes. So we're going to be in some trouble when uh, cars start having problems and there are no fault codes or no trouble codes or no check in light. That's when your mechanical skills really going to have to show. OK, because you can sit there and have a car just sitting there running bad. Just oh, blah, 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 blah. you go look at the instrument panel, no check in the light whatsoever. But the car sitting there idling, running terrible. That's when the mechanic in you or the technician or the troubleshooter in you will have to come out. Okay. My buddy just did rockers on a 36 liter 2012 Wrangler. He was cussing, <laughs> trying to get the passenger by. That's the, the Wranglers. The, 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 the actual job, removing the valve covers and doing the rockers, valve train on a 36. That's, that's part, that part is okay. That part is cool. On a Wrangler, you're going to have more problems removing things to get to that point. You're going to have more trouble removing stuff to get to that point. On a Wrangler, it is so freaking crammed up in there and it's got little tedious brackets everywhere, man. Just stuff everywhere. I dre I hate doing a tune-up on a Wrangler. I hate removing spark plugs because it's so freaking clustered. 
it's stuff everywhere, man. So I, I see why I can understand your buddy cussing, man, doing that wrangler. Hey, those ain't no joke, man. <laughs> I feel your pain, man. That's what's up. You can sneak in out, sneak. You can sneak in out. Are you talking about a a, a rock um sneak one in and out? Uh, yeah, you could it just I I it pretty easy to just remove the cams and uh take them out for me. I guess if you if you like this is new to you and you don't want you want to remove as little as possible. Uh, a lot of people do it that way because looking at that the first time can be intimidating. Okay, it can be a little spooky, a little scary. So you may want to remove as little as possible. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, I can understand that. My very first one, I was intimidated, but I look at them now and laugh at them. Okay, so I don't think you should look at it that way. You know, <laughs> I don't care if this is your fifth, sixth one. Until you've done a gazillion of them, that's the only way you should look at a three, six and laugh at it. This ain't nothing. I had this done by lunchtime. So, but yeah, that's where I'm at because I'm on only because I've done a few. So yeah, does your boss ever piss? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Phil, man, you getting carried away, man? What Phil talking about? Does your boss ever piss and moan when you're recording the dealer? Uh, I don't do that as much as I used to do. Uh, I did get busted one time. I wouldn't say busted. I got in trouble because a customer saw their car on on YouTube. And this was a, a scat pack. I was I don't know, all I was doing was a key and I was outside. Um uh, he, he had an emblem on his car on his hood. I'm telling you, he had his car towed in. I think I told the story before. He had his car towed in. He needed an extra key. They get it, they dispatch the job to me. I grab the key in my scan tool and go outside. I look and see, whoa, this is a nice car. So I fire up my camera and start recording. The key programming procedure. Get that done. The suspense was killing me. I had to pop the hood. I don't know what made me do that, what told me to do that. I popped the hood and I fired it up. It's just intriguing. That's all. I'm just a little kid at times. I just like to hear this stuff. So now what I didn't do was, I didn't do any of that. So if he can't, I probably could have got fired for if I did stuff like that. But no, I just merely want to hear it run. Now, the only way the guy, the only reason the guy nutted up was, uh, like I say, I went to the front of the car and turned the camera toward me, and I was talking to the camera while his car is in the background. He saw his uh, Pittsburgh Steeler emblem on the air intake and, uh, you know, basically raised hell to the man. I didn't get approval to record my car. I know that's my car because that's my emblem. And uh, my manager called me and they're like, man, you can't be refilming. Uh, I'm like, I'm not in the shop. I don't have a tripod set up. I've done this outside. You know, I took it down. He didn't have time to screen record it or nothing. All he wanted was his money back for the key. And he had no problem with that because it didn't do nothing. Like I said, I wasn't out there revving it up, showing out, doing burnouts. I didn't even drive it. It set where it was at. But because he saw it on there, he saw an opportunity to get something free. And uh, I told him recording out of the dealership way down. In fact, I go visit my buddy, um, uh, brother's motor. Um, uh, I'll leave the description in the bottom. You can locate he do, We do Chrysler work over there also after I was on side job and stuff like that. So no, uh, I don't think you supposed to film in it. Now I haven't been told you can't film in the shop and I don't want to be told that. So I don't want to get into that position where they would tell me then if that happens, I would know I'm not supposed to film. So, at a time when I really want to film, I can't do it because I've been told not to do it. <laughs> so to avoid all that, stay clear of that to the point where you're not told you're not supposed to be filming in the shop. So I just merely don't do it. Or if I just can't resist and I just have to do it, I'm a paying that shit so bad, so, so tough. You ain't going to even see no surrounding anyway. You ain't going to know where I'm at. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I don't want to, uh, jeopardize anything anybody because everybody don't want their car on the internet i understand that um uh, one guy came in the shop with a nice uh scat pack uh he was out there on the lane here he just left the track or something blah, 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 blah. i was like man bro you mind if i record oh sure sure go ahead go ahead go ahead even then it's skeptical even if you got his permission because you don't never know he might change his mind at the end i see my car and i'm suing so i just stay clear of that all together man how did i get all the way on that um Okay, let me, uh, what are we at? 34 minutes, guys. I'm, I plan on ending about 45 at, at uh, 845. 
Uh, smartphone is what I use. Yeah, man. Capable. Hey, smartphones. <laughs> some of the smartphones are better than the cameras. This little thing here, uh, Sean, I got this from Best Buy. Uh, I think one of my first check I got from YouTube uh, that was worked uh, counting. You know, in the beginning, it ain't worked. You know, you can tell when your check's growing. You start slanging videos out left and right. You looking for topics. But uh, I hardly use this, man, because it's not always on me. I use what I have at my disposal uh, 99% of the time is my phone. And my phone can do 4K, but I never record in 4K. I can vlog with this. You know how you walk around and, uh, you know, do one of these numbers. Yeah. Uh, so I wouldn't spend a lot of money on editing software or cameras because, you know, use what you got until you start bringing in some revenue stream. All right. Uh, Obama for Trump. Rest in peace, George Floyd. Oh, Another dead black man at the hands of cops. Come on, man. You're trying to bring politics in here. That's not really politics. That is a serious matter, uh, my man. But, yeah, I've grieved enough over that. Uh, you know, I'm not one of those vocal activists. Who, this is bullshit. I can't believe it. You know, ain't nothing I can do. You know, I'm frustrated, yes. But ain't nothing I can do. I wish it would change for the better. Will it? No one knows. I mean, did racism play a part? No one knows. I don't know. No one really knows. Let me put it that way. Uh, everything that's going on now, speculation. Was they wrong for doing what they do it did? I don't know. Uh, from what I saw, yes, but that is one person's opinion, which is mine. So I'm gonna leave that alone because you know I don't want to offend anybody, and plus I don't really like you know discussing politics, religious religion and uh what's the other one it's three topics i try to stay clear of especially when i was ride sharing doing uber and lyft Ooh, people always try to drag me in that stuff and i try to steer clear of it because it is so polarizing guys all right so uh brian have you seen any issues with the three six and the ram uh the typical issues uh now the typical stuff most of the rams uh was, was equipped with the hemi five seven hemi so, a lot of those. I don't know what's with Dodge, with Mopar and Dodge, man. Uh, more rock arms issue, but that's a whole nother story. But you mentioned the three six. Uh, no, the typical. A lot of those guys, a lot of those truck guys, big fifteen hundred and twenty, uh, fifteen things like that. They um, uh, they I I tend to think they on top of their maintenance. And they on top of not letting a vehicle idle for such a long time. Because, you know, most of that, uh, that, that plays a role in your lifter's rocker arms coming apart also. Uh, quality and brand of oil along with idle time and along with a number of other things. In fact, I did a video on uh, my my opinion, top three things that uh, you can do to help prevent it. <laughs> There's some things you can do to help prevent it. Once it's there, ain't nothing you can do to stop it except repair it. So... Uh, if you're ticking, you just got to fix it. Ain't no secret oil blend. You can't mix 5W30 with super synthetic uh, Pennzoil 580 and stir that shit, stir it up and pour it in there and it go away. Once it's there, you got to repair it. So, uh, But no, I don't see a lot of, in fact, I have, the last 1500 I did was a Hemi, a 5.7 Hemi that I was doing a, a cam chef on. So as far as 3.6 goes, no, I don't. Hellcat, Hellcat, Scat Pack, yep, the Red Key, yeah, yeah, you remember that, you know what I'm talking about, that's the last time I got in trouble, man, <laughs> no more, no more, and it was only because he saw his emblem on his cold air intake hose, he went in there raising hell, good thing my boss was cool uh, at the time, because he like, he looked at the video, in fact, guys, let me tell you something about that video, I was actually pumping up the dealership, I was saying stuff like, guys, if y'all need, if y'all looking for one of these scat packs, you can come up here and order one. Tell them JT sent you. You know, I get a bird dog if that happens. So, in essence, I I guess I was wrong for filming a guy car without his permission. But at the same time, how could your boss get mad at you when you was pumping up his business? You know, yes, there was something in it for me also. If somebody would come up and bought a scat pack, yeah, I heard JT say I should come up and get that. Make sure he get his cut. Yeah, there was something in it for me too, but. So it's a, I just don't want to go through that anymore. So, if, but if I, like I said, if I get the urge to have to do it, 
it's gonna be cropped so much you're not gonna even know where i'm at you ain't gonna be able to tell where i'm at new level audio auto uh keith my man keith new level auto and scan dan or south main auto big scope users on youtube yeah they are they are. I keep up with uh Keith at new level. Uh, not so much Scanner Danner and South Main. South Main Auto guy. That 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 dude pretty knowledgeable too. And uh, Scanner Danner. I I don't uh cruise by some of his video, his channel. Uh, yeah, I would love to chop it up with all those guys, man. Another one. Uh, uh, my man. Uh, damn. Uh, Astro Tim. Is it Tim? Tim at Astro Auto Repairs. He uses a lot. Of, he's he mobile, so he go around from <laughs> car to car all day. I guess diagnosing and working on cars. So I'm sure he have those uh fancy scan too. He's another one of those big guys. But uh, yeah, um, new level auto. He got some uh, nice equipment over there. The thing about the difference between me and those guys, man, I'm I'm locked inside of a dealer. So my need for those kind of tools are not there. They're not justifiable enough to buy or purchase because I'm only doing mostly 90% of the time, only doing Dodge stuff, Chrysler stuff. So only scan to I need is the one that I have. So if I was out in the aftermarket world, then yeah, I would need all those uh, super scan tools you mentioned. So, but right now I have no need for them. All right. This guy, it broke my heart too. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's, Hey, I don't even know what to say, man. I just uh uh hopefully it get better. I don't know. But guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. We're at 40 minutes now. Who's this? I saw the video. Brian Finn. What video are you talking about, Brian? I know you're talking about the one with the key. Cause I thought I took that down. I took that down once I got in trouble. Uh <laughs> oh no, I think you're talking about the video of the guy. Okay, Brian. Yeah, yeah. I um uh, I watched it one time and that was a wrap for me. All right, Phil Hober, how many years till you retire? Why are you trying to rush me out of here, man? I tell you what, I'm going to start doing like my man Scotty Kilmore. He put out a retirement video once a week. Uh, Thank you and goodbye. Bam, a million views. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I, I'm not that old. So, well, I'm, I'm up there in ages. So I probably don't look it, but... Uh, I'm going I'm to try that. Who is that? Who asked me that? Phil. Phil, you asking a bunch of questions, man. Phil asked me how many years till you retire. I'm going to start doing like Scotty, Phil. I'm going to start doing a retirement video or I'm done video once a week. No, once every two weeks. Okay, maybe I can get those million views. I promise you, man. I, and I, I'm one of them that clicks it. Not to see because I'm thinking he's going to say something special like, guys, it's been real. The automotive industry has been good to me. I think it's time I fly my wings or spread my wings or whatever and move on to bigger and better things. I, when I click it, I don't hear none of that. I just hear more, you know, that's that's his thing. I'm not knocking him. And he good at what he do. <laughs> I'm not not. He have a huge audience. It's just that uh, every week that he put out the retirement or I'm done videos, uh, they just to pull in audience. And I'm not knocking that because – I may have to start doing it uh, sometime. Some of my thumbnails are getting crazier and crazier just, just to pull them in. I mean, I'm going to make sure my content is good. So I'm going to make sure the video is worth watching. All right? So, <laughs> guys, do not dog me out if you see a misleading thumbnail. I can almost guarantee you, you're still going to get something out of the content. All right? That thumbnail is just to draw in a bigger audience okay some people can look at i'm one of them i can look at a thumbnail and go now i wonder what that's about and click it now keep in mind that click no matter if it's for five six seconds count as a play all right so the bigger that play count becomes higher uh the more people that can see it and because it's a higher number they could then go damn i wonder what i'm missing everybody watching this let me click it and see so and then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. That's what the that's what happens on those type videos with Scotty. I guarantee you, none of them is, are over five minutes long, because once got they just click, and they're count counted as views watched. Okay, now there's a threshold. I think either five or ten or twenty seconds, something like that. But uh, yeah, I got videos out there with a lot of plays, but no watch time. Very 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 low watch time. So a million plays. Three hours watch time is not good, lucrative uh, money wise. So, 
uh, I want to balance balance that act, uh, you know, the best way I know how, the best way I can. All right. So yeah, uh, yeah, uh, Phil Scotty, rev up your union. Yeah, that's my man, man. Uh, that's that dude is uh interesting, interesting. So guys, where we at? Forty five minutes. I'm about to wrap this up. Like I said, I do this every Thursday. Uh, chop it up. Uh, Sunday, I'm gonna be on again Sunday. Um, uh, 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 Capo, hang out if you ain't busy, hang out Sunday, man. Um, you know, <laughs> Scott Yee, man, what's going on with you, man? Rev up your engine, Scotty. He said he would never buy a new car, he goes out and buys a Corvette. Hey, man, <laughs> hey, you got the money like that. I was looking at his uh, his, his channel stats. Ouch, ouch. Uh, like I say, he put out three videos a day. And they all sitting in front of his couch, you know, doing this. But there's an audience for that. So how do, how could you knock that? You can't beat them. Join them. All right. I got a roll, guys. Uh, Phil, Philip Scott. My transmission should fine, but it has a wine. Does filter need to be changed? Uh, it, it won't hurt. I mean, it would only help. I'm not sure it would stop your whining because I don't know why it's whining. Uh, I don't even know what kind of car or transmission is in here. Really don't matter. If you have a wine, one or two things, you either low on fluid or your transmission pump is starving for fluid, which back to you being low on fluid. Or your filter could be so clogged where fluid can't get through it. So best thing you can do, buddy, is drop the pan and go from there. Look at that magnet. If that magnet is saturated with clutch debris, then yes, uh, there's some restriction likely going on. You may have starved the pump pump to a point where it's noisy and it may not the noise may not go away. So you may have done more harm than good by prolonging it. I don't know if you prolong it or not, but only thing you can do, guys, drop the pan and you have to go from there. Drop the pan again. You can get a better, closer look at the magnet and of course, you're going to change the filter if you go back in with it. So that is the most inexpensive try you can do before you personally take it to a shop or anything like that. So go for that, man. That's what I would do. Tim wants to go live on his channel. Let's do it, man. Hey, hey, uh, yeah, whatever y'all do, man, you know, let me know. Sunday, three of us. I have no problem with that. I have no problem with that. Uh. Yeah, just I, I jump on. I think I'm at home on Sunday. So if I if I log in and see y'all on, I'll jump in there. I have no problem with that. That's what's up. Philip Scott, thanks, bro. All right, guys. I have to roll. Man, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me, man. Tech Talk Thursday. Um, I hope I got my point across as far as the video editing. Uh, my man wanted to see what I use. Why I do not know, but I don't ask questions. If I have subscribers want to piece of information and i have the answer to the information i merely would give it to them okay so with that being said guys that's all i have thanks for watching comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all on the next video peace